And we have the first ever final here in the women's pair events at the Henley Royal Regatta. New Zealand, Prendergast and Gala and what a crew they've been. They first burst onto the scene just a couple of years before the Rio Olympics and they've been truly dominant uh, in all the boats that they've raced in. But I think this will be the pair to watch. We were having a discussion earlier on BT Sport uh, during the lunch break, myself and, uh, and James Cracknell, and we were saying, can you compare this Kiwi pair to the British women's pair, of course, Stanning and Glover, the dual Olympic gold medalists. It's so hard to compare pairs to pairs, but they took their world best time at the Poznan World Cup a couple of weeks ago when they won and set that new record. But is it fair to compare two crews from different eras? Not really. I, I always compare winners and winners, but never compare against each other. This is a dogfight right here. Both pairs have enormous experience. Three-time Olympian in the American Bell. This is a third race at Henley. She's raced the single, the quad, and now the straight pair. Yeah, relatively young crew from New Zealand. Grace Prendergast, 25 years of age. Kerry Gowler, 23 years of age, up against Megan Calmo, who we've spoken about, tremendously experienced. She's 33 years of age, and Tracy Iser at 27. So vastly more experience, uh, I think, in that USA pair. But the speed of this Kiwi pair has been evident from when they first got together as, as under-23s uh, back in 2014 when they won that world championship. And you can see the difference in rowing styles between the two countries. The American women relying much more on power than smoothness. And you look at the Kiwi pair and they look as clean as a hospital floor. Yeah, you're absolutely right there, Sean. Very, very different styles. We're used to seeing this style in the US women's pairs. Very powerful, uh, very much back-end loaded. You can see that um, almost cranking the handle into their bodies um, at the finish of the stroke, the same way that the US women's eight rows. I mean, it's been very effective for them, but when you have that eight women of that strength, you can't afford to, to row in that style, whereas the Kiwis, as you say, a little more upright, a little more simple in what they're doing, very flat and very efficient, and we can see that really starting to pay off through this middle section of the race, I think, by not laying down as much power yes. as unefficiently, it really starts to carry you through the middle section of the race and, and into the latter stages. And while we've been chatting, the Kiwis have been taking about four inches per, trucks per stroke and have just slowly slipped away to an open water lead right now. And I mean, it's what they do really well, uh, this pair particularly, but a lot of the Kiwi crews is that they don't go necessarily blasting out of the blocks, but they come out at a good speed, they look pretty composed, but then it's that, uh, I guess, that transition phase from the start into their mid-race rhythm, it's, it's not as defined as it is for some of the other crews. They just tend to coast into something that's really sustainable and they're holding a really good speed all the way through the race. They're more consistent in their, in their race profiling than perhaps we're seeing from the US pair who came out very strongly. And the Kiwis have been consistent. If you remember, you probably don't because you're too young. I do. The 72 Olympics, the Kiwi 8 dominated the second 500 and had a length lead and cruised on to a gold medal. They always dominate the middle thousand of a race. And here they are putting on a very nice pair demonstration. Yeah, just a great display here from the Kiwi women's pair, Grace Prendergast and Kerry Gowler. Grace is currently the New Zealand national champion in the pair without, the four without, and the eight. That's a very nice hat trick to have. That's right, and they also have a couple of world best times, these two girls. They were in the women's four at the World Championships in 2014 that set the world best time, and then, of course, taking the world best time in the pair just a couple of weeks ago at the Poznan World Cup. So clearly, they've got some serious speed, this combination. Now, just watch how nicely they reach out and just lever that oar back to the body. Not a lot of body jerk. It's a smooth heel push. Yeah, look, it's just really uncomplicated rowing. It's nice and flat what they're doing. I think we can get a bit caught up in, you know, how things, how things look, and I just, I think that what they do is just really simple. They're just focusing on what makes the boat go fast. And the Kiwis being at the bottom end of the world, they don't spend a lot of time on ergs. They just do mile after mile after mile where you get that smooth, smooth, silky smooth finish. 
You know, we heard yesterday from the girls that their plan for today was just to keep in their own boat and to race their own race. And it seems that that's what they're doing here, that they haven't been very externally driven. They really weren't too concerned what it was the Americans were going to do, not to say that they necessarily thought they were going to have an easy row here, but just that they wanted to stay in their boat, focus on what they could control and not be too externally driven. Great race plan. And you have to stay so focused here at Henley. The booms are always watching. That's right. It really is one of those races that even if you do have a lead, you can't, you can't ever switch off. I mean, we've seen crews hit the booms in the dying stages of races. <laughs> and I, mean, lose. I, could, I could think of one last year, which was pretty heartbreaking to watch. But, uh, you know, things happen in this, in this event. There, you can see all of the pleasure craft down the side of the course there. So there's motorboats around. People are getting hit by washers. There's a bit of breeze around today as well. You can see it's a little bit swirly out there. So it is a really tricky course to race on. There's a lot to focus on. And you never want to get, uh, I guess, caught out resting on your laurels and, and thinking that a race is over before it is. Absolutely. With a small boat with only two oars, anything can happen. Even a duck could swing by and certainly ruin a few strokes. And in the lead, it is Kerry Gala from Aramoho Wanganui Rowing Club and Grace Prendergast from the Avon Rowing Club in New Zealand. These are going to be the women to watch this year internationally in the women's pair. And in fact, over the next four years as we lead up to the Tokyo Olympic Games. But equal, equally worth watching is this US women's pair who are just taking the rate up now. And this is where the Americans are actually quite dangerous. I've raced several American women's pairs and in the last 500 metres, you never think that the race is over because they always seem to have uh, a really great ability to change speed and to put themselves into the race in the dying stages. And both of these girls rode in uh, American colleges which are known for their furious sprints. Maybe not their discipline through the middle of the race. So just struggling that. to come back onto terms with the Kiwis at the moment. Megan Calmo and Tracy Issa. Tracy Issa first represented the US back in 2014. And they'll be looking to race the pair, I would think, internationally later this year at the World Championships. But they will, if they do that, meet these women again. Grace Prendergast and Kerry Gala from New Zealand. Well, there's been another dominant New Zealand pair. I, I kind of forget their names. But I think now we have a new one. That's right, the new kids on the block, Grace Pendergast and Kerry Gala, taking out the women's pairs for the first time ever at the Henley Royal Regatta and a great addition to the Henley program. It's always nice to be have your name at the top of a trophy, the first. Go! And a replay here of the start. I think you can even see the relaxation on on the Kiwis that from the very first stroke there's there's no ripping there's no tearing they just sort of look pretty consistent all the way down the track really yes it just seems like they're rowing in 90 percent pressure but you know they're not absolutely and that's that's the that's the name of the game a little bit isn't it try and make it look easier than it is yes and what's nice about Henley is you're so happy when you win a lot of it's a relief that you survived. 